Brightspace Calendar, Creating an Event, a Brightspace tip from the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. So the first thing you're going to need to do is, of course, to get into your calendar itself. Once you land on your calendar, you're going to see by default, you will see a display today's date along with a calendar for the month over on the side. Looking at the calendar over on the right hand side, you'll see any date with a dot underneath is going to indicate that there is an event happening that day. Now, Brightspace will automatically add any types of assignments with due dates to your calendar. However, there may be additional events, perhaps our Google Assignments due dates, uh, maybe a field trip, a test, a quiz that you would like to give your students a heads up for ahead of time and you would like to create on your calendar. Creating an event, um, there are of course multiple ways to do this, but the easiest way for me is to simply click on this Create Event button that's here at the top. So I'm going to select that. And then it's going to open for me on another screen where I'm going to put in the details for this event. Now, the first thing I'm going to point out is the title. Now, you'll see there's an option that I can add content, and I can also add or enter that event title independently. If I want to put in, for example, a link to a Google assignment, if I select that Add Content button, it's going to pull up all of my options that I have in my course uh, that I can go through and navigate to. So I can go here maybe under my week, and go into my reading, foundational literacy, and I know that this digraphs option two is a Google assignment, so I could go ahead and select that option for me, and then I'm gonna hit add. Now, Brightspace will create this as the title of this event, but I am going to be able to uh, make that a custom name if I decide. So for example, if I wanted to check that and if my students are uh, used to me seeing or indicating a graded assignment using emojis, I might go ahead and use my Windows period key to bring up my uh, emoji keyboard. And I could put in maybe a star or a check mark, whatever uh, the indication is that this is going to be a graded assignment for them. So I'm going to go ahead and I always use a little pencil guy here. So I'm going to put that in and then I could go ahead and say graded assignment and then my digraphs underneath. So that's going to be one option that I have. Underneath of that, I, of course, can add uh, any kind of description that, that I wanted to do. Um, I do have the ability here using my insert stuff button to incorporate, again, another way, maybe it's something else from my computer, I can go ahead, I could actually do a video note. Uh, so if I wanted to record myself uh, talking about the event, I would have that ability. Um, and of course, I can do embedding and inserting web links as well. I also have my quick links option here. So this would again bring up very similar to what we had with the title. I have the ability to come in here and pull up any kind of course material that I would want to link within the description of my event. So again, I could go through any of my course files. I could link to a specific discussion board if I wanted. And of course, any kind of quizzes or assignments. Or again, my content. For our purposes here, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that blank. When I come to attendees, by default, this will be set so that anyone in the course is going to see this on their calendar. However, if you have pr uh, previously set up groups, then you can assign it to a, a small group within your Brightspace course. Uh, so in this case, maybe I just want my uh, one period one uh, or my reading group A to see this particular assignment. So I could choose that that's just going to be available to them. Or again, I could always change it back to everybody in that course offering. Now, it's important to note when we're talking about the date and the time that um, this will go off of if it's a Brightspace assignment, that whatever by default that time that it has to be completed is going to be midnight. Uh, so if you need to come in and change that, you can do that here. Or when you're setting up your Brightspace assignment, since those automatically go to your calendar, you may want to adjust that time because otherwise the students will not see it on the calendar unless they scroll all the way down to midnight. So in this case, maybe um, reading is going to be over at um, 12 o'clock. So maybe I'm going to say I want this to be completed at 12. There we go. So I'm going to say that this needs to be completed by 12 o'clock or by 1230. If it is a recurring event, you can add that in here and you can also add a restriction. So when we think about adding the restrictions to this, 
it can it's gonna be that it's gonna be hidden um, if I'm setting up my calendar ahead of time maybe I don't want them to see that we have a field trip coming up um, until a couple of days before I could put that in um, again lots of different options for that and I can just simply then once I have that information done I can go ahead and hit create once I have done that, I'll get that little message at the bottom of my screen saying it has been created successfully. And now I'm going to have that little dot there on my date on the calendar. And if I scroll to today's date, I can see that my graded assignments is going to be there.